beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. He was in the beginning with Elohim. All things were made by Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. The sublime words of the beloved disciple John have the power to open to sin-darkened minds the nature and mission of the Savior of mankind. They show the Messiah's pre-existence and union with the Eternal Father in the work of creation. In eternity past, in all understanding, the Son was one with the Father. He was the image of Yahuwah, the revelation of the Father's thoughts and feelings. After the fall, human beings were no longer able to discern Yahuwah's character of infinite, self-sacrificing love. The divine character was viewed with fear. It was to reveal the love of the Father that the Savior appeared in human flesh. If the Father himself had come from heaven and lived out a life on earth, hiding his glory and taking on a human body so that all could look upon him, the record we have of the Savior's life would not have been changed at all. In every act of the Son, in every lesson He taught, in every kind and forgiving word and deed, we can see and hear the Father. In every particular, the life of the Son reveals what the Father would be like if He were a human. The name of the Savior is very special. Scripture states of the Son being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a much more excellent name than they. Centuries before his birth, Yahuwah encouraged Moses with the assurance, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice, for my name is in him. The name of the Eternal Father, Yahuwah, is in the name of the Son. This name is Yahushua. Yahushua means Yahuwah saves. This name was divinely given by the angel Gabriel to Mary, the Messiah's mother. And the messenger said to her, Do not be afraid, Miriam, for you have found grace with Elohim. For behold, you will receive conception and bear a son, and you will call his name Yahushua. This one will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and Master Yahuwah Elohim will give to him the throne of David. The beauty of the name Yahushua is found in its meaning, Yahuwah saves. However, most names are not translated for meaning, Instead, they are transliterated to try and get the same sound. Thus, the meaning of the name is often lost. The King James Version renders Luke 1.31 as, Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus comes from the Latin word Jesu, which itself comes from a Greek attempt to transliterate the name. When the Hebrew scriptures were translated into Greek in the 3rd and 2nd centuries BCE, a problem arose transliterating the name Joshua. 
A study of the word Jesus reveals that it comes from the same word as Joshua in Hebrew. Unfortunately, the Hebrew form, Yahushua, contain two sounds that do not exist in Greek, sh and y. Further, male names in Greek end in s. Therefore, the attempt to transliterate Yahushua ended up as Jesus. The Latin transliteration corrupted the name still further into Jesu. Later, many pagan writers claimed a connection between Jesu and their demon god, Zeus. To have the faith to call upon the name of the Savior, one must know the name and call upon it. That name is Yahushua, not Jesus. Just as the personal name of the Father, Yahuwah Elohim, is a revelation of His nature and relationship, so also the name of the Savior reveals His mission to save. After the fall, people could no longer comprehend the love of their Creator. Fear took the place of love. The dark night of satanic error settled upon the human race. In order to bring the world back to a knowledge of the Father's character of love, Satan's deceptive power over minds must be broken. However, this could not be done by force. While force is a principle of Satan's government, Yahuwah desires only the service of love. Love cannot be forced. It cannot be commanded or coerced. Only by love is love awakened. Because to know the Father is to love Him, Yahuwah's character must be revealed in contrast to Satan's character. The work of revealing the Father could only be done by the Son, because only Yahushua knew the depth, the height, and the breadth of His Father's love. Every kind glance, every loving act, every forgiving word of Yahushua revealed how the Father would act if He were a human. The Savior Himself clearly stated, I am come in my Father's name. The evening he was betrayed, Yahushua left no doubts. He who has seen me has seen the Father. The very name Yahushua, Yahuwah saves, is a promise. By His humanity, Yahushua touched humanity. By His divinity, He lays hold upon the throne of His Father. As the Son of Man, He gave us an example of obedience. As the Son of Yahuwah, He gives us power to obey. As the Son of the Great I Am, Yahushua encourages sinners I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. He says to you, I am the assurance of every promise. I am. Be not afraid. Yahushua is the assurance of our deliverance from sin, the promise of our power to obey Yahuwah. The beautiful name Yahushua, Yahuwah saves, is itself a promise of help and salvation. Claim it. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Scripture assures all, He is also able to save to the uttermost 
those who come to Yahuwah through him, since he ever lives to make intercession for them. Yahuwah wants to save you. This is why he gave his only begotten son. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Yahushua. Claim the promise of Yahuwah saying, He is standing with arms open wide to receive you. The one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. For Yahuwah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For Yahuwah did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved.